In the vast tapestry of the cosmos, star clusters are among the most mesmerizing formations, sparkling like jewels scattered across the night sky. But their birth is not one of sudden brilliance. It begins in the cold, dark hearts of molecular clouds. These massive, dense clouds of gas and dust float silently through galaxies, harboring the raw ingredients for stars. When a disturbance, perhaps a shockwave from a nearby supernova or the pressure from spiral arms, ripples through the cloud, gravity begins to take over. The cloud fragments and collapses under its own weight, and deep within these pockets, nuclear fusion ignites, giving rise to infant stars. This is the cradle of stellar birth. As the stars begin to shine, they do not form in isolation. Instead, they are born together in groups, star clusters bound by gravity. These clusters can take two primary forms. Open clusters are relatively loose, irregularly shaped, and contain a few hundred to a few thousand young stars. They are often found within the galactic disk and are short-lived in cosmic terms, gradually dispersing as their stars drift away. The Pleiades, visible to the naked eye from Earth, is a famous example of such a cluster, still surrounded by remnants of the cloud from which it was born. In contrast, globular clusters are much older, more massive and tightly packed, some housing hundreds of thousands to millions of stars in a spherical shape. These ancient beacons hover in the galactic halo, relics from the early universe, and are often more than 10 billion years old. Their stars are typically metal poor, indicating they formed during an era when the universe was still forging its first elements beyond hydrogen and helium. Over time, star clusters evolve. Some merge, others dissolve, feeding their stars into the larger population of the galaxy. Open clusters especially are ephemeral, contributing their stars to the galactic disk where they go on to form new generations of planets and possibly life. Globular clusters, however, remain as stellar fossils, offering astronomers a window into the conditions of the early cosmos. Thus, star clusters are not merely decorative arrangements in space. They are dynamic, evolving structures, born from chaos, shaped by gravity, and destined to become integral components of the galaxies they inhabit. They are the silent architects of the universe's ongoing story.